Hello everybody, welcome to Gyrocopter Flying Club. In this film I'm going to give you my impressions having flown Auto Gyro's 2017 Sport fitted with the Rotax 915 motor. And I can tell you it's a game changer. Put simply, there's no other gyroplane produced today that comes close to either matching the performance or the execution of 2017 Sport with the 915 Rotax. The aircraft I flew was a production aircraft, indeed it's the aircraft that you're seeing in the film here which was also previewed a few weeks ago. So it was a fixed pitch four bladed prop, 308 kilos empty weight with me inside at 80 kilos and 30 litres of fuel. On a fairly standard ISA day it was 18 degrees centigrade, uh, 1010 uh, millibars of pressure, airfield elevation around 300 feet so reasonably representative and if you climb out at 60 miles an hour you get a climb rate of 1500 feet per minute. Now that does give quite a steep deck angle so if you lower the nose and the speed increases to 80 miles an hour in the climb you still see climb rate of more than 1000 feet per minute and that is quite startling because to put that in context with the same kind of conditions same kind of weight Rotax 914 power is around 700 feet per minute. How does that translate to takeoff performance? Well I've always been of a mindset that many gyroplane manufacturers have overstated takeoff performance because gyroplanes are typically not the shortest of takeoff aircraft. However, with Rotax 915 power in the 2017 Sport, you can't say that anymore. If you only pre rotate to 200, to clear 50 feet, you only need 100 feet. If you pre rotate to the higher values that you can with the new Auto Gyro products, so typically 300 rotor RPM now, you still take 100 feet to clear. 50 but the aircraft unsticks so much sooner which means if you operate off a rough or grass airfield you'll find the ride much more consistent much more smooth and a lot less wear on the undercarriage of course don't forget we only had an all-up weight of 410 kilos so typically that will just give you greater margin if you're operating at full fuel full weight or at hot and high conditions how does it translate to flying in the cruise? Well, if you cruise at 80 miles an hour, we saw engine RPMs were around 4,300 and a fuel burn of 15 litres an hour. If you increase to 100 miles an hour, then we saw engine RPMs of 5.2 and 22 litres an hour. Don't forget we're with a fixed pitch prop, which so those numbers will probably be improved upon if you have an adjustable prop. Obviously VNE remains the same at 120 so typically we are looking at acceleration, takeoff performance and climb performance as being the main uh, attraction of 915 power. And I just wanted to mention the execution because my expectation before I flew the aircraft was that you know adding all, adding all this power to a relatively light aircraft was going to mean that it became tricky and frankly that is not the case. Power delivery is very linear, uh, ground handling easy, in fact I would say this is possibly the easiest gyroplane I've ever flown. You do obviously need to pay attention to the pilot operating handbook because 915 has got some differences with regards to how the motor operates and especially during emergencies but otherwise this thing is a pussycat. You can go from brake release to full power and okay apart from requiring a little bit more right foot to keep tracking the center line simply because you've got a lot more prop wash over the tailplane the aircraft is beautifully set up, handles remarkably well and the performance is to die for. This is the aircraft that everybody is going to end up flying into the future. I'm sure other manufacturers are going to follow suit with their own 
Rotax 915 power variant, but fair play to Autogyro for bringing this fabulous machine to market in short order. If you get a chance, or if you're in the market for, uh, it doesn't really matter whether it's an open or enclosed gyroplane, if, uh, if you're in the market for a new machine, I've got to say, I'm completely sold on them being Rotax 915 powered. Fly safely.